This is Shilika for Medicoism. So here's the part of the series about immunohistochemistry and cytogenetic markers for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, it's something which is kind of a difficult part for everybody to remember and to help you remember, you just have to plead to NHL like NHL, please be my friend. So, there are three main variants of NHL which you need to dist distinguish between when the question comes and they'll give you a few cytogenetic characters and on that basis, you'll have to distinguish between whether it, is it a follicular NHL or a Burkitt's lymphoma or a Mandel cell lymphoma. So, the mnemonic is be my friend, ONHL, So, uh, B stands for Burkitt's, M stands for mantle cell lymphoma, and uh, F is for follicular. Now you have to play with the numbers. So, the numbers are 8, 11, and 14. So, uh, let's start with 8, 14. Then you go to 11, 14. And you just start with 14 then. So it's 14, 18. So if you remember the series like BMF, okay, be my friend, Burkitt Mandel Follicular. So 8, 14, 11, 14, 14, 18. In this way, you can remember the translocations associated with each one of them. Again, uh, you'll have to remember a CD4 number which is characteristic for each one so mantle is it sounds something like mental and in a, as an MBBA student at the age of 23 you literally become mentally harassed learning all these stuff so you can remember as mantle cell is CD23 negative okay it is negative. You just you just feel so negative at the age of 23. You feel like you're a mental patient. You know, so mantle is CD23 negative. Also for follicular, you can remember is as follicular is F and the Fs are negative. So CD5 is negative for follicular lymphoma. Then um, there comes... A BCL marker for it. So, for the BCL markers, you can uh, think of Burkitt in a small cursive writing as B U R K I T. -T, -T. So, this B will help you remember it's BCL6 positive. And the mantle will uh it's a game the mantle is a game of one two three and four so this two and three are the cd23 the one and the four are in the translocations as well as this one come will come down and it will become bcl1 positive then follicular is left with bcl2 so here are some things will which will help you distinguish between these three lymphomas also follicular reminds me of something which is a follicle and it is in the center so the follicular cell the follicular cell lymphomas are they are center the some centers of something so they have centrocytes and centroblasts And these both are typically absent in mantle cell lymphoma. They're negative for centroblast. And Burkitt is some person lying on the ground or on a terrace in a starry night. So they have starry sky appearance. So, this starry sky appearance 
uh, is typically diagnosed on a lymph node biopsy. Also, the Burkitt cell, uh, the Burkitt lymphoma, uh, has BCL2 negative. These are some characteristics which will help you distinguish between all these three lymphomas. And um, also, uh, as these lymphomas are basically involving B cells, so they're all more or less positive for B cell markers. But there's some differences which I don't remember properly. But yeah, these things, these small things will help you remember and differentiate basically when they come in question. Another fourth type of uh, NHL is marginal zone lymphoma or maltoma. Uh, these maltomas, there's a maltoma, so these are like maltrapomas, so they are TRAP positive. And this T will help you remember 18. I, I know it doesn't sound, doesn't go very well, but this has translocation 11, 18. It is basically a combination of the 11 from mantle and 18 from follicular. So this maltoma, this is trapped between mental and follicular. And they give a translocation of translocation 11, 18. Then uh, these marginal uh, zone uh, lymphomas or maltomas, they are associated with H. pylori infections in stomach and they are benign. They are benign as a polyclonal activation. So the treatment is also anti antibiotics to get uh, to eradicate these H. pylori. Another one is hairy cell leukemia. They also trap positive. And uh, male to female uh, ratio is 4 is to 1. As males are a bit more hairy, like 4 times more hairy than the females. So these are some things which you remember about lymphomas. Okay, some translocations. Also, this um, hairy cell leukemia is CD 11C25 and 103 positive. And these things are characteristic of hairy cell le uh, leukemias. That's it, friends, about the leukemias. I mean the lymphomas and they'll come I'll come with a come up with another video for the Hodgkin's lymphomas. Stay awesome.